beginning as an aha moment during the conference session titled Using Pilot Students in Course Development and Revision, presented by Dr. Diana Ridgewell and her cohort at the Virginia Tech Higher Education Pedagogy Center in February 2010, the idea for a developmental student advisory panel took shape as an assigned project for the Chancellor's Developmental Education Institute in 2011. Conceived as a collaborative project between a two-year community college, Virginia Western Community College, and a four-year university, Virginia Tech, the Virginia Western Community College Developmental Student Advisory Panel, or DSAP, provides a structured method to effectively capture student input regarding developmental course design and delivery. In addition to a two-year and a four-year collaboration, the Virginia Western Community College DSAP is also a joint effort between the Developmental English and Developmental Math Departments. To become a Developmental Student Advisory Panel member, the student must have formally been a Developmental English student, Developmental Math student, and or both. Also, the student must complete a DSAP application that requires faculty recommendations as well as participation in a structured training session conducted by Dr. Ridgewell and her students. Moreover, the students must commit to meet at designated times to maintain a specific overall GPA and to complete all assignments by the specified deadlines. By adapting Dr. Diana Ridgewell's use of peer facilitators in course development and revision, our DSAP members receive training in four areas, including strategies for effective student and faculty collaboration, potential benefits and barriers to student and faculty collaboration, confidentiality and professionalism in the review process, strategies for applying as well as modifying student input in course design and delivery. With suggestions and input from Dr. Ridgewell, we currently have five DSAP panelists. These panelists have provided amazing beneficial input, which has allowed us to compare what the students think with what the faculty and staff thinks. The panelists reflected on their perceptions of classes as well as processes, the design of the course, the choice of materials, the class environment, and access to the instructor, as well as the relevance and challenge of the course. To date, we have used DSAP to improve our student welcome message and instructions for the VPT. In addition, we have altered the format of our syllabi and we have added depth to existing classroom assessment strategies. Furthermore, DSAP suggestions have made significant improvements to our class peer group assignments and projects. Consequently, DSAP input has expanded the group leadership's responsibility. Finally, we plan to consider DSAP suggested instructor qualities when hiring new developmental instructors, and we anticipate more collaborative field trips and meetings between Virginia Western Community College students and the Virginia Tech students and staff.